Hello, John Britt here. I got a little story here about finding a good glaze combination. And so I don't have anybody to film it, so I'm going to do it myself. Uh, a little bit hot here, so that's why I'm all sweaty and hot. But here's the glaze that I found that I liked a lot. It is a black glaze uh, satin with a, it's called Autumn's um, Crystal Matte that goes on top. And I put the colorants for um, uh, copper red. So here's the original tile that I had. This is all in my book. I don't know what page it's on, but it's the copper red. Uh, uh, it's called silicon carbide copper reds or artificial reds. And here's the recipe in case you don't have it. Uh, but it's in the book. It's Autumn's Crystal Matte. And it's got these colorants. And I mixed the specific gravity at 153. And then the original black I had was was this one. I found it from a test series that we ran. And it was just a really nice black. And so it's called John's Translucent Base, but I'm calling it just John's Satin Black. Here's the recipe. This is not in the book. And here I use 5% Mason Black Stain. Uh, so you could probably use 8. The tile has 8. But I always try to get it lower if I can so I don't have too much stain in there. Uh, but these, the pots you'll see are kind of, the black is slightly brownish, so you may want a little more. Uh, so anyway, so what I did was I, I waxed, uh, I put the black on, then I let it dry, then I, well first I did the inside with a liner, let that sit overnight. Then I did the black, let it, two coats, let it stiffen up, I put wax on stripes, just three stripes, and then I dipped it in. Uh, this autumn's crystal matte, uh, sort of a red version, uh, and I did, you know, one dip the whole way and heavier at the top so it ran down but didn't run off. But it has a really nice feel. Uh, so then what I did was I, I have to then translate that to pots and bowls and stuff. So what I did was I mixed up a couple batches. So this had the cover of Autumn's Crystal and I made it a specific gravity of 153 and then I dipped it in one coat here and then two, so one coat and then two coats and it shows how it can be a little runny so you're right on the edge of getting it to run but that's a lot of what I liked was that this thing was kind of fluid and made this unusual uneven line so then what I thought I'd do, well what if I thin it out some so on this one, I made the specific gravity 142. That just means I added some water to it, thinned it out. And then the one dip of that one came out like this. And the second dip came out like this. So this is a way to then control it. So I could probably get this by doing three dips of this one. Okay, so that's how you kind of do it systematically. And then what I thought was, wow, what if instead of doing wax and painting it on. What if I get like a squirter like this and then I squirt it on. So I put this, put the glaze in the thing and I just squirted it on these tiles to see how it would hold up. And it worked pretty good. So there's a lot of possibilities here with um, glazing just with this squirter or dripping things on or uh, pouring over instead of painting and dipping on. Okay? So that's what I did then with this bowl was I glazed the inside with black, let it sit, then I waxed it and did my two coats of the autumns, let that sit overnight. Then in the morning I came in and I did the outside with two coats, wax, and then the autumns crystal, and I got this. And it's a very nice feel, it has some slight pinholes. But that is from the silicon carbide burning out. So if you don't like that, you can leave that out. Uh, and then I did, I did several to see, because you can't just do one. You know, you got to do multiple ones. And that worked out pretty good. This one was not good. What happened here was when I put it in the kiln, it was too wet. And then this was up against the, the elements, and then it... Uh, fell off like it's crawled real bad because it was heated too fast. 
So that tells you a couple things. You know, you're just going to want to um, uh, let things dry before you put them in the kiln and pay close attention to application. Okay? I hope that helps you get an idea of how to do combinations and can get you started. Uh, and I'll have another video here shortly of another version of this. All right, we'll see you.